So it seems like I'm always here with, um, well, a blinking battery and my battery is blinking. Now, you're probably asking why am I making so many videos these days? Well, basically in the nighttime, I spend all day with my baby and then by the time nine o'clock comes around, I'm here with you because, well, that's where I like to be. And you never know how long I can do it, so might as well do it while I can. This is a brand new bag to me, one that just came in the mail a couple of days ago. Thanks, Edwin. Much love, man. And we're gonna get into it. This is the Brown Buffalo Concealed 21 in Ballistic Nylon. This video is gonna be, well, I always say it's gonna be short. I think it's gonna be short. I'm gonna do a very quick thing at the very beginning of this video. I just wanna show you, I just wanna show you how it stacks up against the GR126 uh, liter. In fact, these bags are almost exactly the same size. So, I don't really, I mean, when you're talking about the size of a bag and you're thinking about, you know, getting one, I mean, you can see it's slightly taller here, slightly thicker here. So I would say if you're looking at a brown buffalo bag, you know, like always imagine it's going to be slightly bigger than you think. I'll do a review later that includes other bags and stuff like that. But for now, I just wanna give you a quick overview of this bag. This is in Ballistic Nylon 1050, I believe. Ballistic Nylon, it feels very nice and very strong. Uh, my first impressions of this bag were it's built absolutely immaculately. I mean, I'm talking like beautifully. Uh, I took it to my seamstress because I was doing another job with my seamstress, the famous seamstress that does the that did the MPL and made my MPL stand up. She basically rips on every bag I bring her and she always says something like, oh, you know, they could have done this, they should have done that, blah, 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 blah. She asked me to look at it because now I think she's curious. She's like 80. I'd film it except for she's not the most political career except for she's not the most politically correct person. Um, basically what she said about this was in her prime, she's not sure if she could have stitched as nicely as this. And that says a friggin' lot to me, I'll tell you that. And it, it is a beautifully, beautifully made bag. Um, on the front, so uh, this is the Conceal 21. There was a Conceal 19 and a Conceal 26. The 26 must be gigantic because this is already pretty big. Some basic changes in this version is there is an absolute full clamshell here, which goes all the way down to here. There's a couple of places to attach things, which I believe is a new touch. And uh, that's basically it. The straps, oh, I forgot. And also the back panel is completely redone on this guy. This is some of the nicest mesh I've ever felt. I don't know what it is. It just looks normal, but it feels amazing. It's so well done. The foam is beautiful on the back of these straps. Um, a note about the hardware. I've heard that some of these are, are you know, not the best, but I mean, it seems okay to me. There are these kind of clip down things here that I talk about for like, you know, zombie, zombie protection. I said zombie like a Korean there. Um, they are made by some company called GS1. I don't know what that means. Maybe you can enlighten me in the comments. I've seen it on recycled firefighter bags. It's not national molding, or at least it's not branded as such. It does say made in the USA. There's a kind of a pass through here that, I mean, I don't know, I've never used one, but some very nice like little details here. Some little orange stitching that's very nice. There is a side pocket here, which is where your laptop goes. Um, what I, a couple of things I like about this pocket, one, it's Aqua Guard, which all the zippers are here, they're YKK Aqua Guard. And uh, this is like, for a 15 inch laptop, I'm not so sure, but for my 13 inch, it fits perfectly fine. It's not really suspended off the bottom that I can tell, it's not at all, but uh, I put like my Nedrolo sleeve in there and then that suspends it a little bit. And yeah, it's uh, loop lined, so you could stick your magazine holders or whatever it is you use in there. I don't know, you could probably just stick a magazine like straight into this guy because of, you know, the way it's, you know, it's kind of laptop-y. This, uh, one thing I really like about this is that he has two zipper pulls here, so you can put it anywhere you wish, which makes it nice in use. Top handle, top handle is very typical for the brown buffalo, I believe. It's uh, just double stitched, box stitched, triple stitched, quadruple stitched, all that kind of stuff. I mean, it is just a lovely handle, it's nothing no padding in it, but it feels great. You can see the Cordura uh, fabric logo there, which actually I think is a nice touch to most bags. As I said, the zippers are all AquaGuard YKK. There is a front pocket here, which goes 
um, all the way down the length of the bag. There's no organization in here, although I do have a, a pouch inside there that, that gives it some organization. It's all loop on this side. And uh, there is a dongle key lanyard thing here where you can hang your keys, which I have done. And this is also an AquaGuard YKK zipper. I believe it's a number eight, could be a number five, hard to really see. The straps on this bag, which I didn't really talk about a lot, are some of the most comfortable I've ever used. They're so, so nice. I was shocked, the contour, the way they felt. Uh, one thing to note is uh, the old versions of this bag had some padding on the bottom. There's no padding here, but the material is quite thick. So it, it feels padded-ish, even though it's just literally a couple of layers of material. But you know, that's kind of how it goes. The bag itself, let's uh, get into it. As I mentioned earlier, it's a full, absolutely full opening clamshell bag. And it opens, um, you give it a little nudge here, and your complete clamshell. Now, I have been using it, as you can see. This is blaze orange. We're getting some practice for the Phoenix here. It is a VX material that is very nice. I think it's VX42 or something like that, um, which is kind of an X-Pack. You can hear it. It's kind of crinkly, not super crinkly. There's some very nice mesh here. I can get it to focus. Some really nice mesh here. It's kind of like similar to what Dispatch uses, an AquaGuard, or sorry, an YKK zipper there, made in the USA. I love this, it says practice empathy. I know that's something that uh, they tend to do. It's lined everywhere in here, which is great. There are these two pockets down here that are perfect for like a water bottle or some pouches. I have like my sunglasses in here, some pills, some other stuff in there. And uh, I mean, there's no way to hold this stuff in, but it works well. As you can see, it's not really falling out. Some technical difficulty there, not the battery. Ironically, the card ran out, so we're gonna try to hurry this up again. I mean, uh, so I have it packed out like perfectly as I normally would here. Uh, my camera cube is at the bottom. This is also a brown buffalo thing. The best camera cube in the business, just absolutely lovely. Some people have requested a full review of this. So, well, you will get one, Tropic. VX, oh, this thing is nice. And uh, camera cubes are not that easy to come by. This is a Dan Matsuda pouch. Also, I mean, we're getting like super nice here now. I've uh, packed it out differently from that ASMR uh, video that I did, but it is uh, fitting my EDC life much better than you could ever imagine. Here, Troc login pouch. This is also one of my favorites now. I really like it. I have my clothes in here and some other miscellaneous items for the day. Full loop panel back here. Oh, I've got the Matsuda thing here because I'm not using it. Carryology patch because I think it goes really well with this. And all of these bags come with this very cool, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a um, detachable keychain. It's really intense. Like, I don't know what kind of keys you have that you'd be using that, but I just stick the loop on there and leave it hang down. Just for reference, hopefully if my card doesn't uh, run out, I'm just gonna show you quickly what that would look like in here. And you can kind of compare for yourself. So this in the bottom, this here, this here, there's just about like an extra that much space on the top. That's all you get. That's all that's in it. That's it for my quick first impressions of this bag. All I can say, it's built beautifully. Douglas, um, if you haven't heard, he's been feeling under the weather lately. The guy who runs the Brown Buffalo and who makes these beautiful bags. Uh, all I can say is get well soon, buddy. Um, I mean, I, I act like I know him. I've talked to him once or twice, but uh, I do hope he gets well soon. This, this is a wonderful, wonderful product. And look, people are gonna say it's expensive. It is, it's $325, but the thing is like, in bags, I, I kind of actually tend to rarely say this, but you definitely, definitely get what you pay for in this case. It is a just a beautiful, beautiful thing. So, so well made. So well made, just lovely. After I use it for a while, let's see how I feel about it in a couple of weeks or a month, and I'll do a full review. But for now, those were my quick first impressions of the Brown Buffalo. It's kind of unfair to have this there. Those were my quick first impressions of the Brown Buffalo 21 liter conceal. One of the best in the carry business. So um, yeah, carry on folks. Probably not gonna be many videos during this week. I am busy AF. AF, I got my hand on the pulse, the kid's pulse, busy AF, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, talk soon kids, bye-bye.